Well, I'm back. My eyes are not bad today. Uh, we've had a lot of fires around us, forest fires and stu such, and uh, I actually can see the clay. This is great. I think the right eye might be improving a little, and maybe that's why the retinal specialist told me uh, to have an appointment made for 30 days after he injected my eye. And maybe it takes 30 days for it to take effect. I don't know. And maybe I do need another injection, but I'm going to let him decide that. I have an appointment with him on Thursday in Bozeman. So we'll see what happens. But uh, as long as I keep my, my eye wiped, I can see clearly. So I'm going to... Uh, I had Todd come over uh, last time I made a video and uh, he said he wanted more jaw on this side and so I'm going to see what I got. It's, it's hard to see some of these pictures because they're not very good. Uh, you know, he didn't take them because he was going to have his dad sculpt. He took them because he loved his dad and he took pictures of his dad. So I've just got to go by uh, what I see and the best I can. Anyway, um, I'm going to put that right there with a little piece of clay right there to hold it up. I gotta tell you, it feels good to get back into sculpting. It's been a tough couple weeks. I've been suffering from a skin rash caused by cooking egg in grease. It was a little too hot and splattered on my hands and I got such sensitive damn skin that it uh, turned into a very, very uncomfortable rash. And I saw a doctor yesterday about it and a couple other things. It's, it's not as bad today as it was yesterday. So, slowly but surely I'm healing. It just takes time. Now I can see one problem right there. i got to raise that ear just a little bit. This is painful because this thumb is numb and it's really painful to do anything with it. And I'm going to heat up this tool so that I can cut the ear off and then move it up. Oop. Too close to the uh, flame. The reason I heat the tool up is because a heated sharp tool won't draw on the clay and won't uh, pull on it. You use a cold uh, knife or blade and it will pull and distort the clay a little bit so I'm trying to avoid that. Now I'll put this aside and uh, let's see what we got. Now, I turn the uh, clay facing me and I'll line up the ear. There we go. Yeah, that works better. That was bothering me, the, the, the uh, ear, and uh, finally decided to do something about it. 
That's something I couldn't do a month ago. I couldn't blow out a candle with my mouth, so the Bell's palsy is clearing up, along with a lot of other crap that has happened to me this summer. But, uh, as I told somebody yesterday, you take life one day at a time. see the problem with that mouth now. I'm gonna wipe my okay. Be just a little more rounded there. Somebody suggested I do a video, an a instructional video on how to sculpt a portrait. I might do that. It's not easy, especially when you don't have the person sitting in front of you. Magnifiers on, even though I hate to do it, but I am having a little trouble still. Oh, that's much better. That's much better. <laughs> I'm reminded of a saying, growing old is not for the weak. It really is true. Of course, if you're young, you, you'll say, oh, sure. Believe me, when you start getting older, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. And I hope you're reminded what I said today. See just a little more cheek right there. I wish there was a lock on this uh, turntable to keep it from turning, but I don't have one so. 
I have to hold on to bass and play at the same time. Let me just double check something here. sure my ear isn't too far back on the other side. Oh, it's right on the button, so that's good. There's a big art museum in uh, Pasadena, California. I can't remember the name of it. And uh, it has clay sculptures made by sculptors in Rome uh, 2,000 years and more ago. And they were made out of clay, probably from a sitting, rather than carving the uh, marble right there with the uh, person. It would be faster to uh, do a clay of them in a, from a sitting. And uh, you could literally see their fingerprints in there in the clay that was left there 2,000 years ago. And if you sculpt at all, you learn, or you get the feeling of when a sculptor is having fun doing something and when he's not having fun doing something. And it has to do with uh, strokes and uh, stuff like that. And I could tell which ones the artist was having fun doing and the ones that the artist was not having fun doing. It was uh, fascinating to see and to feel the experience of some other artist a long time ago. If you ever get a chance, I. I don't know the name of the museum, but uh, it's been 20 or more years ago that I was there, so it's uh, been a while. There was a, a sculpture of one character in uh, clay and uh of a gentleman and it was uh he i don't know if you some of you probably don't know who i'm talking about but charles lawton was a famous actor back in the 50s i mean 40s and 30s and uh he had a particular look about him and this guy had a particular look about him just he looked almost like he could have been charles lawton Looked like a jovial, happy guy.
somebody asked me uh, t today, actually, when I was going to be back on those horses I was doing, that stampeding bunch of horses coming out of the sky, and uh, that's going to be the next thing I get back on to. I've been giving it some thought, and I'm thinking of uh, a technique that I'm going to try on it and see what it looks like when I get done. Well, I'd like to ask all of you, if you like my videos, please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I promise you, as things improve with my health, I will get back into sculpting and uh, a lot more. I hate being away from it more than you can imagine, but uh, it helps me on YouTube. Right now, they've uh, demonetized all my videos. They said they were well, they're not worthy of being monetized, which I have no idea what that means. But anyway, if you would do that, I'd appreciate it. Greatly. Alright, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Because my eye, like I said, is getting tired. And I don't want to overdo it. Even though, you know, it's like after you've been sick and you're feeling great. And you start doing more than you should probably do. And then you get sick again. Well, that's what I'm trying to avoid with my eyes. Even though I feel better, I don't want to do anything to uh, aggravate the problem that I've already got. So, till next week, I will come back and uh, Todd's going to take one more look at the guy, uh, his dad, and uh, we'll make any adjustments he wants to have made at that time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.